So hello and welcome to the Our League app. My name's Dave Parkinson here for the under 19s. It's the first of a double header in the Barla Tri Counties series. So it's uh, Yorkshire taking on Cumbria. Cumbria in the stripes, Yorkshire in black and white. Yorkshire line up with Ben Howe at fullback, Ben Selby, Connor Piver, Jordan Bull and Ryan Hilton in the back line. Liam Morley and Jordan Pagger at halfback with Jackson Walker, Eddie Wilcock and Declan Nicholson in the front row. Drew Judge Clark, Luke Whitaker and Owen Brock in the back row. A bench of Robbie Powell, Tommy Coyle, Mark Sellers and Charlie Handforth. For Cumbria, they line up with Sam Kerwin at fullback. It's Jack Penrice, Lewis Fearon and Zach Steele alongside Cameron Taylor in the back line. Owen Hoyles alongside Kia Shepherd at halfback with a front forward lineup of Charlie Elmsley, Ellison Holgate, Elliot Campbell and a back three of John Irving, Connor Terrell and Reese Burr. It's a bench of Billy Thompson, Kieran Eldon, Casey Chambers and Shane Sanderson. So both sides being introduced to the Barla dignitaries. Always an intriguing, an intriguing fixture this one. Yorkshire, of course, the current holders of this competition, having won it off Lancashire last year. Let's hope our match officials have a, a great game. I'm sure they will. And here we are at York Acorn. A fantastic setting. Lots and lots of space around us. Pretty appreciative crowd has gathered. Plenty on a, uh, an embankment which is sort behind where we're filming from. Tell you what, I think we're in for an absolute crackerjack of a game. So Yorkshire banding together. Cumbria having made the long journey down this morning. So just to recap on those uh, sides. Starting first of all with Yorkshire, it's Ben Howe at fullback, Ben Selby, Connor Paver, Jordan Bull, Ryan Hilton, and the uh, halfback pairing of Liam Morley and Jordan Pagger. Front row of Jackson Walker, Eddie Wilcock, Declan Nicholson, and then it's Drew, Judge Clark, Luke Whitaker, and Owen Brock in the back row. A bench of Robbie Powell, Tommy Coyle, Mark Sellers and Charlie Hanforth. Cumbria have Sam Kerwin, Jack Penrice, Lewis Fearon and Zach Steele alongside Cameron Taylor in the back line. Halfbacks are Owen Hoyles and Kia Shepherd. It's a front row of Charlie Elmsley, Ellison Holgate. Elliot Campbell and a back row of John Irving, Connor Terrell and Reese Burr. A... Uh, Substitute bench of Billy Thompson, Kieran Eldon, Casey Chambers and Shane Sanderson. I'm delighted to be alongside uh, Steve Manning. And Steve, both of these sides look uh, fit, rearing to go. Yeah, good afternoon everybody. Sorry the delay. Uh, I'm going to get me writing in big writing with the commentary. But like uh, Dave says, everybody's up for it. It's uh, game one of a three game series and... Uh, Yorkshire uh, defended the championship that they took off Lancashire last year and uh, Cumbria have trained hard and uh, they start off with uh, they're going to get the ball and uh, they let it go under the uh, feet and uh, drive forward Cumbria in the uh, resplendent hoops against the black and white traditional strip of Yorkshire. Already up to the 20 metre line, strong driving but equally strong defence from Yorkshire over on the left hand side of the field as we look on, bring it back to the middle to Cumbria. I think that's Sam Kerwin driving it forward, Dave. Moving into dummy half is Ellison Holgate. He goes down the right-hand side. In fact, he tries a kick and then it's knocked on. Yorkshire have picked the ball up, so they've gathered possession just on the 40-metre line inside the Cumbrian half. Run is taken in. Gains about five metres. Strong tackling in the centre of the field. Now, it's Eddie Wilcott passing the ball to his right-hand side, bringing up big Jackson Walker in possession. Walker's turned on his back by two strong Cumbrians in defence. Now it's coming out to the right-hand side, Pagger. Did well to pick that one up, but that's excellent defence there from Ellison Holgate. Really did charge the line, didn't he? He did, I mean, I'm just wondering with that famous surname, there is any relation to the uh, 
guy that went playing at uh, Wigan Warriors. Stephen Dave. Holgate. That's the one, yeah. Used to play for Workington as well, didn't he, Stephen? Yeah. Long ball into the middle. Little kick comes in from Packer again. It's a lovely one. Bounces up. Taken in well. Down that far side by Cameron Taylor, who beats a couple of tacklers. Gets it out to the 10-metre line, about 20 metres in from touch. If you just join us, welcome to the Our League app. This is live baller action. A great afternoon of entertainment awaits us. Under 19s, first of all, open age following at three. Don't go anywhere as Cumbria take the drive. He's still going. Excellent running there from Reese Burr. 30 metres away from his own line. He just kept his legs pumping then, didn't he? Now, big drive coming in from Elliot Campbell. Campbell takes a couple of defenders with him, tackled on his own 40 metre line. And I think that's what Holgate was looking for earlier on when it all went a bit awry. Yeah. But he's picked up at the back by Ben Howe. Great to see him running, and he's. Uh, been training with both Doncaster and uh, Castleford this season. Well, it augurs well for him and his future. He's uh, going to see out this season at the very least, so playing in this uh, county championship. That latest one coming in from Ryan Hilton. And now another surge comes in from Jordan Bull. It's a strong one from the centre. Look at that, three defenders in. Turned him on his back. And they've got a good position to work from. Almost 30 metres away from the try line. As a big surge comes in from Owen Brock. Brock held, three-man tackle. All in centre field at the moment for Yorkshire. Pass to the right-hand side to Pagger. Pagger delays his pass. It comes out to the right-hand side. Oh, they've worked the overlap superbly. This could be a strong finish. And I tell you what, that's a brilliant, brilliant try there from Ryan Hilton. Such strength personified there, Steve. Well, they showed it. They went down that right-hand channel. They showed the uh, cut-out pass there. Went down that right-hand side. And uh, they've opened the score in as Ryan Hilton. And it's just the start that uh, the holders would want uh, in this game, they've had two attacks and uh, they were unlucky with that grubber on the opening set, weren't they really? It just showed that, uh, you know, they've been working hard, training hard. It's not just, it just, just doesn't come out, does it? We're just, you know, just playing. They've had training sessions. I think they've been training for about a good two months and I'd imagine it's the same with Lancashire. And I'm surprised I've not seen any Lancashire spies here, Dave, unless they're uh, coming up later for the main event. But it's an ideal start, this, for uh, Yorkshire, just what... Uh, Coach Martin Oxbury, Oxbury would have wanted. Well, you say this, and I do know that under-19s coach Tom Wood is watching this somewhere along the line. He's so watching he's, this. He, oh, he's, he's, he's watching and listening to us, is he? He's watching and listening to us. Right. Well, I'd, I'd, better, I'd better behave then, hadn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're calling it straight down the middle today, despite me wearing my Lancashire stuff. So, Packer. With this conversion attempt, I thought that was a really good move. Ben Howe was also involved, finished off by Ryan Hilton. It's Pagger looking to strike it. Good Gets age. a good connection. Oh, that's a brilliant it's kick. A cracking kick that from outside of the touchline. I mean, th there's a slight wind and it's a very slight wind in the favour, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, it's ideal touch what it's ideal conditions for rugby league, isn't it? It's not uh, cracking the flags with heat. We'll not have many water breaks and it's... Uh, an ideal autumnal afternoon. Autumnal afternoon, yes. Yes, yes in that, uh, what do we call it, the third equinox? <laughs> no, no, you're going to wait till now, dude. Well, let's get technical. Let's, autumnal's as good as it gets. <laughs> so Lancashire uh, watching on and seeing what they can come up with. But uh, it's Cumbria with a long, long restart taken by Pagger. Fires it back into the middle. Good work. And that's the big Yorkshire number 10, Declan Nicholson. Held by three. Picked up a dummy half by Wilcock. Shuffles it to his left-hand side. Again, there's some really strong defence coming through this middle channel at the moment, isn't there? They certainly uh, got the go forward, haven't they, at the moment, uh, showing their intent as it's uh, looked a little bit of a cross there against uh, Liam Morley, but referee's happy with it. And uh, if I've got it right, that uh, the officials there, there from Lancashire, so they'll be totally... Unbiased. Of course they will. Of course they will. And as every official is, to be honest, Steve. Jackson Walker will play this ball. It's passed to the right. Good hands. Still comes down this right-hand side. Drew Judge Clark in possession there. Tackled right on the halfway line. Plays it back to Wilcott. Wilcott takes a dash and a dart and takes the tackle of two as well. Leading the way was Reese Burr. Also involved Elliot Campbell. Last tackle there. So how kicks it forward, dribbles it through. It's one for him to chase, but really well taken there by Kerwin, who starts the counter-attack for Cumbria. Quick play the ball as well. And straight away, they're up to the 20-metre line. Jackson, Jack Penrice there, tackled. Put on the ground. 20 metres in from touch. 
6-0 if you're just joining us in favour of Yorkshire. First try of the game coming through Ryan Hilton. Thought that was a little bit holding down, to be honest, by the Yorkshire dummy half, man. Well, the referee was nearer than we were. <laughs> That's a sitting on the fence one for the, that one, Dave. Cumbria, 40 metres away from their own line. This is a strong power pack run. Splitting the defence there from Connor Terrell. Terrell will last play tackle. It. it is the last tackle. Boot on ball comes in from Kia Shepherd. That's a really high kick. Well taken by Ben Howe, who starts the counter attack. Dummies to the left, then surges through that middle. Only as far as the front row. It's never advisable to clash with the front row, is it really? Especially three of them. <laughs> uh, they're living on raw meat coming down from Cumbria, I'm sure of that. Jordan Bull with the carry. It's a good drive, that. It is a good drive. Coaching staff just standing beneath us. You might be able to pick them up on our mics occasionally, just asking for that extra push. I will apologise even now if there's any industrial language, I think, Dave. Yeah, that's probably, probably a good thing, as Eddie Wilcock proves a little bit tricky for that Cumbrian defence to deal with. It, as it shows with three men in the challenge on the 40 metre line, Yorkshire, dummy coming in from Morley, tries to scurry forward again. Last one. Wilcock shuffles the ball left. Kick comes in, it's a high one. That's going down with snow on it. Kurt Wen positioned himself. Brilliant take from the fullback. Starts the counter attack, and okay, he's only 12 metres away from his own line, but he had to take that, didn't he? He did. It was a cracking kick by Morley as well on that last tackle, and they're uh, certainly completing the sets uh, in the uh, attacking side of uh, the Cumbria uh, defence. Six points to nil. We've seen all the action so far in this Cumbrian half, haven't we? Yeah, we've, yeah, because. There've been nothing kicks. I haven't no disrespect to Cumbria. There've been nothing kicks have been easily taken by uh, Ben out today for uh, for Yorkshire. Elliot Campbell looks again his feet. Again the referee's patience holds. Little dab forward. It's a good little chip. He's followed it up as well. Brilliant play from Rhys Burr. And uh, they've managed to retain possession of Cumbria. Going down that short side. It's uh, fullback Sam Kerwin puts a grubber in. It's a oh, it's one. well taken by. Uh, Ben Howe it ben was again. Yeah, I think he just stopped there because I think it was going to run to touch there, uh, Dave. He did well to put the brakes on, didn't he? Because yeah. all his momentum was heading towards that touch line. So Kerr went to play it. 20 metres away from his own line. Good hit up through the middle. Outside backs usually get their hands on it in this sort of position, don't they? And here's Jordan Bull again. Been really prominent with some of these early drives, hasn't he? Put it, himself Jordan a forward helping his... I mean, it, it's to get away the game and helping the forwards out, but he's putting some cracking drives in as uh, number 13, Owen Brock, drives into uh, the Cumbria half. That was powerful. Got through Elliot Campbell. Oh, must, be, must have been a steal. Ball's gone loose. We'll just say that. It's been picked up by Cumbria. Back they come. Rhys Burr on the counter. 30 metres away from their own line. Now they try scurrying through the middle, and it's good work as well, to be honest. Target the big fellas. Tire them out. Again, solid pick up. Reese Burr Holgate. again. Holgate it was. Holgate, beg your pardon. Yeah. Burr's at the back here somewhere. But that's a solid surge coming in from John Irving as well. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of meat on him, isn't there? Oh. Decent built lad. It's for Arnie being under 19, isn't it? Here comes Holgate. Lovely work from him. He's 10 metres away from the line. Oh. Just spills it at the last second. And forward come Yorkshire on the counter-attack. End to end so far, six 0 in favour of Yorkshire. Well, it's a cracking game, isn't it? So far, it's fast. It's just show sure that uh, you know all that training they've done both both counties. It's uh, paying off at the moment, but it's paying off more so for Yorkshire with this uh, early try, giving them that six 0 lead. That last drive taken by Jordan Bull. They bring it down this right hand side. Strong run from Drew Judge Clark. He's still going. Bounced a couple of defenders off him. Lewis Fear and felt the full force. Oh, of that, that look forward. It was straight from where we were. Line ball. It? Line ball. <laughs> <laughs> Down the right with Pagger. Delays everything. Takes the tackle. It was brave then, actually. I think it? that warmed his ears, didn't it, from that to a little wrap rounder from the uh, Cumbria forward. Judge Clark once again represented Yorkshire under 17s in the last couple of seasons. Which just shows that the system worked, doesn't it? Dave? It does. Ball put left. Here's Morley. Morley dabs it for the air into the corner. Oh, that that was a super take. He was under loads of pressure on that far side. It was Cameron Taylor? Well, he had to take it, didn't he? Because he would have, uh, you know, knocked on or, you know, with his winger coming down, fair play to him. So, uh, 
brilliant piece of play, to be honest, from him. So Cumbria in possession again, trailing by six points to nil. You feel if this was a boxing match, it's just Yorkshire's on territory and on yeah. points at the minute, yeah. isn't it? They're completing the sets, aren't they, at the they moment? Are. Really impressed by the standard set so far. It's only going to improve as this competition goes on. And uh, we'll have a couple of games involving Lancashire who come into the competition next week. Yeah, we're up to Millen. We're going up to Millen uh, next week. So hope you're going to uh, listen to that and uh, the final one the week after, which is at uh, Lee Miners at uh, Rangers on Twizzlane. Kick comes in. Completing the set for Cumbria, it's a deep one, but again, a little bit hit and hope, to be honest, for Ben Howe to collect, and look at this space he's got. Throws a dummy, surges on. He's very prominent, isn't he? Yeah, but tackle. John Irving's putting them tackles in, isn't he, for uh, Cumbria? Uh, helped out by Zach Steele this time. Here's Connor Paver, another one who's represented Yorkshire at under-17s. Stands and plays. Good, solid surge from Ben Selby. He's played a lot of first team rugby this season as Ben Selby. Good run. Oh, that's brilliant work from the hooker Wilcock. S swerved in and out. Gained 10 metres. Quick play the ball. Morley has another go. Good tackle there by Kieran Eldon, who's on for the Cumbrian side. Last tackle 20 metres out. Oh, and a penalty. Down. Those are coach killers, those, aren't they? Well, you don't last tackle. I mean, uh, I would like to think, with it being a county championship game one, they go for a, they go for two points here. But looking at it, they're uh, they're going to run it by the by the looks. No, they fancy the chances, don't they? But why not? I mean, it's a dry day here in Yorkshire. So well, they get another set, sunny, but don't they? No, that's St. Helens, man. <laughs> <laughs> Solid surge going in once again. Declan Nicholson. He's offloaded it to uh, Marley. Marley's into a bit of a hole. Only runs as far as Burr, who wraps him up. 12 metres away from the try line. Wilcott takes it left. That's a solid surge as well. Jackson Walker gets the ball away. I tell you what, they're having, they're having a fair bit of possession, aren't they? Well, they've uh, put in their offload into the game at the moment, early doors as well, which augurs well from that's a beautiful uh, drop off. Pagger drops it back over his shoulder for Nicholson. Nicholson's two metres out. Ball put right. Pagger involved again through hands. This time it was lovely soft hands to. Drew Judge Clark, but it was forward. We can't tell from our position. Fair play, I mean, uh, again, we talk about coach killers, you know, three tackles gone, they were in a great position, weren't they? And then uh, they just uh, take it just to the edge and uh, they lose out. But fair play to Cumbria, you know, the, the defensive back-to-back uh, -back sets, they've held them out there. And uh, I'd imagine that uh, Mark Owen will be uh, happy with uh, what they've done so far. Barla Tri-Counties action, under-19s level. Yorkshire against Cumbria from York Acorn. It's Yorkshire who lead by six points to nil, but it's Cumbria in possession, in the stripes, ball in hand, 20 metres away from their own line. Working the ball away as they have done quite often so far in this game. That's a heavy hit, but he's got up and he's carried on going. That's a brilliant run to the fourth. Well, the Yorkshire uh, player who put the tackle in, Declan Wilcox, he's gone down on impact and... Uh, We've got a little bit of a respite now, and I think they need it because uh, it's been paid a cracking pace this uh, game today, to Dave. Just went straight over the top of him. What a power pack run yeah, that was. Yeah. I think while we have got a little break, obviously we've not been able to stream the 17s uh, this season, hopefully next year, but uh, Lancashire uh, collected that with a record victory over Yorkshire uh, last month. Uh, to uh, collect, I think it's the eighth time in nine seasons. Yeah, it was a fantastic game as well. 52 points to eight. It was only 18-8 at the break. And they, yeah, they right. really did. I mean, uh, I don't know how many people watching this would have seen the performance of Wales yesterday against uh, Scotland, but it was a similar sort of second half to that, right. really, from Lancashire. As we're back underway, Cumbria still in possession, this time with Charlie Elmsley. Gets over his own 40. They pick his leg up like a rag doll and spin him right round like a record. <laughs> I'll not let go. I uh, like a dumb rugby that, but uh, you know, play for and got. And uh, Charlie Emsley's quite happy with that one. You know, he just won't let go. And the referee gave him a little bit of leeway, and they didn't take it. And uh, because of the position where uh, the touchline is to uh, the fence here, they've, uh, they're walking it ten metres forward on this side. I'm second guessing that on that far side they'll be able to kick for position. Holgate taps, brings it in field. It goes through the hands of Hoyles. Onto the big, strong, running frame of Connor Terrell. Terrell will stand and play at 30 metres from the try line. He'll bring it through the middle now. Number 15, Kieran Eldon. Good run as well. I think that's the second or third big run he's come up with. 
He's putting himself about, isn't he? Holgate, this time brings it left. In fact, he spotted something just behind the rook. Darts to the 10 metre line. Quick play the ball as that well. That looked like a little knock on to me, but. Uh, Real chance here for Cumbria. Eldon. Again, they're taking his legs from under him. And he'll play it just shy of the try line. Ball switched to the right. On the bounce, it finds its man. Chambers. 16, Casey Chambers. Five metres out from the try line. Last tackle signalled here. Where's this ball going? Holgate sends it left. Kick comes in from Hoyles. It's a low one. Well positioned by Pagger. Pagger set off the counter-attack. Thought of a little offload as well. Looks Good a nice well. little player, doesn't he? He puts himself about and uh, put his body on the line for that grubber. Very tidy. This fella's uh, been very prominent. Jordan Bull so far. He's lost the ball there, though. Oh, oh commentator Chris <laughs> Steve. Well, I'm glad that were you this time and oh, not me. I can't believe it. See, every time you praise a player, they come up with an error, don't they? Yeah, I was watching a boarding game of football last night and uh, somebody were complimenting this guy he put across and it went into the fourth row. But... Uh, yeah, that's the equivalent of commentating on that type of play, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that is, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, Cumbria won't mind this, to be honest, though. Well, you know, they've sorted up the pressure down here, two back-to-back -back sets, and now, really, literally, uh, Yorkshire are going to have to do the same as they go down this short side. Lewis Fearon, held by a three-man challenge, who forced him towards the touchline. He's going to play it just in field, though. Holgate, long ball to the middle, Hoyles keeps it moving. That latest run coming in from Connor Terrell, 10 metres away from the try line. Good line up out to the right hand side here at Cumbria. And they'll take another drive through the middle through Eldon. Eldon, it must be so short. Put himself line, about, isn't he? Yeah. Holgate. Scrappy. Oh, he's got there. No, he's not going to give that. On. Well, well I thought it was a scrappy play, though, I'll be quite honest. And he did really well to keep hold of it initially. Uh, but as he's been twisting round, he's uh, not been able to put it down. So it's a let off for Yorkshire after that uh, good start. It's, uh, it tells you how sharp both of these acting halfbacks are around the rook, though, doesn't it? Because oh, yeah. we've seen already Eddie Wilcock take a couple of runs and Alison Holgate having that try ruled out. So, you know, Cumbria are well in this, aren't they? Only trailing by six points to nil in these early stages. Yorkshire in possession, 40 metres away from their own line. That man Wilcock moves into dummy half, sends the ball left. Morley through the hands onto Howe. Just drops it back over his shoulder, looking for the support there of Ben Selby. Selby couldn't find an opening, put there on halfway. Into the middle it comes. Big power pack drive from Declan Nicholson, who looks like he's recovered from his knock he suffered a few minutes ago. Yeah, he's under the side. This couldn't be half again. They've made some easy yards again uh, on this set. Owen Brock with the latest carry for Yorkshire. 30 metres away from the line. Right in the centre of the field. Wilcock will move it right to Pagger. Pagger keeps it moving on to Howe. Howe drifts across. Lovely offload. Here's Bull. Bull 10 metres from the line. He couldn't find his winger this time uh, because it was the same sort of move what got the opening try. Pagger keeps his kit low. Hits it towards It's the a line. try. He's... Was it Wilcock who scored it? I think, I think it was. Uh... Hang on. No, it's not been given. Offside, offside the call. Well, he's nearer to us, but it was a, it was a, it was a beautiful rubble. grubber, wasn't yeah. it? What a kick. So it stays six points to nil, and Cumbria are thankful. So they'll be happy to take the penalty, take the extra 10 metres. Holgate will fancy, in fact, it's going to be tapped by Zach Steele. Turns the ball to his right. Good running once again by Connor Terrell. Look, scrappy from Terrell. Oh, that was... Well, at least he played it, didn't he? But there was... Hoyles having a run. Did well, picked, considering it was a scrappy the scraps the then, ball. didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Gets 40 metres from his own line. Seemed to be all over the ball then at Yorkshire, but they've got away with it. And there's another one coming in from Holgate. Very prominent player. Looks a real class act, does Holgate at half-back. Kick comes in, a little dab. Lovely work from Shepherd. He tackles the man without the ball. <laughs> well... Is he I'm, not, I'm not surprised that's a penalty that's going. Oh, he's giving it to Cumbria. Well, I didn't see... Shepherd tackled... Well, Shepherd I didn't... tackled Ben Howe without the ball. No, I didn't see that. I, well, <laughs> I, I thought he'd given a knock on then against him because I think, well, he's gone back with that ball, but, uh, you know, the referee's in a better position than us, but it's uh, Cumbria, right? They're under attack again, and it's uh, Casey Chambers who's uh, driving forward about 10 metres, going down that right-hand side now, and the... Uh, 
scrum half, Kia Shepherd cuts inside and it's a, a three-man Yorkshire tackle as uh, the defender of their own line. Ball going down that road, but look for that cut out pass, but uh, well, he rolls like Steve Austin in the six million dollar man then, that uh, Yorkshire centre. Th these lads won't know who Steve Austin is, to be honest. I know, I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll give up, I'll, I'll talk, I'll talk mod. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Morley it was with that interception, did particularly well to get his hands on that one. Uh, and Yorkshire leaving the pressure once again. Here's Bull. Hopefully won't make an error on this occasion, I won't curse him. He's one of the oh, he got a penalty, you got him a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Dave. <laughs> so six points nil in favour of Yorkshire. One try so far for Ryan Hilton. That was converted by Jordan Packer. We'll take this 10 metre penalty. Wilcock to tap again, 10 metres in from touch. He's got Judge Clark for company. Doesn't use him though, uses Pagger instead. And this is the uh, the big 15, Tommy Coyle. Tommy Coyle. Just over his own 40 metre line, plays it to Wilcock. Wilcock brings it right, Pagger involved again. Oh, that nice ball. Was a ball for Bull. <laughs> Drives over the halfway line. Breeze picking up here at York Acorn. The charges from Yorkshire are picking up as well. Second one in this set from Tommy Coyle. 40 metres away from the try line. Oh, that's a nothing pass. Do well to clean it up. Oh, Morley calls it. for it. Then it's put down that left-hand side again. They've suddenly worked a bit of an opening. It's really well, though, from a, a scrappy start to the play. Then it's on the left. Little oh, delicate no. kick. Well picked he up. He that well, didn't he? Oh, he's so close to the line there. He's Connor Paver. Paver. Last tackle comes to the middle. Here's Wilcock. Dabs it for the oh, goal too hard, is it? Just a bit too too tough. It's uh, another that's... clever kick, though, wasn't it, yeah. Dave? You know, they're showing a lot of um, imagination with their uh, last tackle uh, players out That's they, another uh, commentator Yorkshire. I once really said. He had the touch of a baby elephant as he put it over the, <laughs> the ball line. You know, I thought you were going to say something else then, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was the right sort of yeah. idea, to be honest, from Wilcock. Uh, Two really well-matched teams here. Cumbria in possession, pushing their way towards halfway. Working their way out, sensible play. The number 17, Shane Sanderson, he's on now for Cumbria. He's operating dummy half, goes in for his second dummy half play. Finds Shepherd. Shepherd across to the left to Eldon. Eldon picking up the pace. Strong run, he's still going. He's got three men on him. Eventually, they wrestle him down. 28 metres away from the line. Sanderson through hands to Shepherd. He then finds some excellent support from Elmsley. Centre field 20 out. What can they come up with here? Oh, that's a good run. Offload comes in. Hoyles can't take it in. Yorkshire have recovered. It's a again. cracking drive by Irving on a oh, stepping off his left foot as well, Dave. Doing well, Irving, at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. Chucking himself around in the tackle as well. Like oh, he's he just there. put that one in there, hasn't he? Measures on the Richter scale, that one. If this was Quadrilla, they'd be stopping fracking now. <laughs> Very good. That's how it measured. <laughs> a lot of understanding in Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, quadrilla <laughs> are involved uh, doing fracking in Poulton, Poulton Green near Blackpool, aren't they? And Penalty a, goes the way of Yorkshire. What a controversy. Don't, don't bother explaining it. There's no point. The, the mood's gone now. <laughs> oh, all right, Dave, yeah. <laughs> I can show me geographical expertise. Uh, I, was imp I was impressed. Don't know about anybody else, but I won't. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll take this tap penalty. 10 metres in from touch. Wilcock to tap. Turns it to Judge Clark. Good run. He's still hopping his way forward, despite three players on him. 40 metres away from the try line. Wilcock goes again. This time lays it to his left-hand side. To that man, Tommy Coyle. 30 metres away from the try line. Wilcott, this time brings it right to Pagger. Pagger drops it back for Bull. Oh, big collision. Ball goes loose. Referee yeah. will rule a stoppage here. Is he saying it went? I think he's saying it went backwards as well, Dave. Uh, I tell you what, it was a heck of a hit, wasn't it, from Reese Burr? It was, and he's, uh, he's hit the playmaker, and uh, all right, you know, you don't want it. No, it's not the playmaker, is it? It's. Uh, But I think uh, both coaches will be happy with what uh, they've had on show so far, Dave. Um, you know, Cumbria have recovered from that early try and they've uh, had a half chance themselves when, when they should have gone over in that uh, from that to play the ball. But uh, 
I think it gives a chance, you know, for the players to take on water and uh, get get some breath back. And uh, but because the game itself's been playing at a real fast pace, isn't it? Do you think that Martin Oxbury, the Yorkshire coach, will be a little bit happier at this stage? When they're completing the sets, they look more dangerous, don't they? And that's no disrespect to Cumbria, you know. And Cumbria are getting into uh, this half, but they're only getting into good positions on the back of penalties at the moment. Uh, they're driving well, they complete the sets, and they're looking dangerous every time they're in that half. But uh, fair play to Cumbria. Um, uh, fair play to our referee as well, because he spotted the injury. Stop play straight off, didn't yeah. he? So um, Yorkshire will continue this set of six, so we, we didn't see a penalty at all. We, no. It was fair play. I thought he might have to give a knock on because these days, you know, if the players lose it, uh, they seem to, uh, you know, get penalised. But uh, still got a little bit of a delay at the moment as uh, Conor Terrell is uh, taking on a bit of water and he's got a problem, as it's a leg problem. But uh, you say it's a leg problem. He's having his hand wrapped up. <laughs> well, he's moving up his body. <laughs> 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 I'm new. glad you're not my physio, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that other bit? He's getting his money's worth. <laughs> but uh, it'll just be interesting. I mean, we're a couple of minutes delay now, you know. I think we're all set for starting. It'll just be interesting how they respond now because. You know, they focused on what they're doing. But uh, they've had a couple of minutes to uh, think about it. But Tommy Coyle has done what he's done since he's come on. He's just making them bullocking forward runs, isn't he? Yeah, he just rip roared into the defence, didn't he? As Wilcox shuffles it left. Marley drops it back over his shoulder. Big running coming in there from Luke Whittaker. Whittaker's rolled on his back by two big Cumbrian forwards. Wilcock finds Pagger. Pagger will kick it to the right corner. Chance here, but really well taken. Well, uh, Jack Penrice. He did. Now he literally is your pint pot winger, isn't he? He's only a little fella. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, but he took it well, and he got uh, obviously the uh, opening try scored and burning down in open to try and uh, get his second of the game. So Cumbria once again, as they have done quite often in this first half, bringing the ball away from inside their own twenty. Still in possession. Here's the man that we had the stoppage for, Connor Terrell. Good run again. Ten metres every time he touches the ball. Away comes the dummy half, Shane Sanderson, over his own 40. He'll play it to Kia Shepherd. Shepherd moves it to his right. Kick to come in to complete the set. Again, a bit of a hit and hope kick. Yeah, it wasn't under pressure at all, was he? Uh, the fullback, uh, Ben Howe. And made an, another good 10, 15 metres, Dave. Yeah, he's really good on these kick returns, isn't he? Looks yeah. very sharp. Although that he was got a fair shoulder, there, actually, Dave. Big tackle by Shane Sanderson. Here comes the big fella in the middle for Yorkshire, Jackson Walker. Just stopped before the halfway line. Whitaker checks to his right hand side, then moves it left. It's another big run coming in. Owen Brock. Seriously, some of these lads are only 19. They're huge. Yeah, Charlie Amphors just come on. I mean, if he says it's if he says it's Sunday, it's Sunday. <laughs> But uh, it's uh, a number eight has come off Jackson Walker and he's, he's done a good, op good opening, what, 15, 20 minutes. Cumbria forcing the error there from Owen Brock, who will be disappointed with how that set's finished. Yeah, uh, a bit frustrating for him and uh, you're actually going to get this scrum head and, head and feed Although on the halfway line. It's going to be Cumbria with the feed here. Oils to put the ball in. Collected at the base and sent down the right-hand side. Solid surge as well from Zach Steele. True Cumbrian grit being shown at the moment. Casey Chambers with another run. That's a fine run from Chambers. 20 metres he Centre gained field, there. yeah. Centre field. 25 out. Sanderson sends it right. Shepard once again. Draws it back over his shoulder. The running comes in from Reese Burr. He's been difficult to hold at times as well. 10 metres away from the try line. A Cumbria building for points in this set. It comes to the middle. Nothing subtle about that run from Charlie Elmsley. Straight up the guts, as they say. Yeah, three-man tackle, did him. Sanderson, the sends goes it left. left. In stereo then. Here's the full-back, Kerwin. Kerwin, it could be in here. twisting. Works everything for the try line there. Is he held up? 
I mean, they had a two-man overlap there as well, Dave, but he backed himself, didn't he? Still, they've got an option here. At the back is Shepard. He keeps it moving to Burr. Burr dummies. Then he surges forward himself. He's in. So, that was such clever play there from Reese Burr. He done it as if he were going to kick it for the corner and then took the ball under his wing and touched down. Well, a quick play of the ball. They went right and he backed himself, didn't he? And uh, I mean, Yorkshire didn't take the dummy, but his, his strength put him over there. Good style, didn't it? And uh, fair play to him. Uh, cracking try there by Reese Burr. Six full with the kick to come. And the kick's just... Uh, as dead a centre as you can have it, Dave. Looks a, a tidy player, does uh, Reese Burr. He's impressed me so far, both in, in defence and attack. He's, he's very, because he's not only is he coming up with little subtle plays like that, he's doing the tough stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, well, he's putting his body on the line, I mean, and that's what that's what it's all about. But uh, they wham bam jam back in the game, aren't they, Dave? Uh, and that's wham what it's bam all about. jam? Good and is that a St. Helens saying? A St. Helens saying, yeah. <laughs> it's not Wigan E's. Well, I've got to check. You know, because you're, you're a bit half-half these days, aren't you, Steve? Never be half-half. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a pick rose in my time, but I'm always a Wigan man. <laughs> Steve, living in St Helens, supporting Wigan, it's got to be a tough... tough I'm the Wigan happen. missionary. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Kerwin with this attempt on goal, enough of our frivolity, let's get back to the game. <laughs> so Kerwin settles himself. There is a bit of a, a deceptive breeze around this ground. Yeah, it's you'll be able to see the uh, the flag in the background. Kerwin's got to judge this, and he judges it to perfection. Six all. Well, this game on, isn't it? And it's uh, they're uh, evenly. It's an even. It's an even contest, isn't it, Dave? You know, I mean, Yorkshire have at times appear to have the attacking edge at the moment, and you've got to give the. Uh, Cumbria defence, it's resilience, but they've shown themselves that they can drive forward and uh, well, and, uh, and their uh, try scorer then, uh, Reese Bird, just showed it the class that he's got. Very much so, yeah. I think we've got a classic game of rugby league developing here, to be honest, Steve. That's a great start, isn't it? I mean, you know, you don't want um, you don't want a walk, a walk over, do you? You want a good competitive game, and that, that's what we've got. And, uh, you know, it's uh, both sides, you know. Big job, they all, both sides want to win, get off to a perfect start, uh, going into game two. Uh, more so the holders, Yorkshire, who want to uh, oh, defend no. the towers, a cracking kick, and uh, I can't they got away they, with it then, didn't they? I can't believe they allowed it to bounce there, and it ends up with Cameron Taylor really shuffling his body on the line to get in at the ball. Well, it's the old, old adage, you never let a rugby ball bounce, Dave, and that's what can, uh, you know, cut, cut you up, but fortunately, uh, they've recovered. It's probably under a little bit of pressure, but as you say, they have recovered. Charlie Elmsley rushing his way through the middle again. Good work out of dummy half from Sanderson. Again, he's another young hooker that looks sharp as a tag, doesn't he, at the moment? Big number 10, Elliot Campbell, on the drive. He gets an offload back to Sanderson, who loses his footing, keeps the ball moving. He had a hand on him, though. So it's going to be counted as a tackle, that one. Oh, and nobody's in a scrappy half. play, the ball out. And then it's just hat forward on the last. Well, they won't want a replay of how they finish that set again. Well, we were we'll complimenting them as well a couple of minutes ago, weren't we, Dave? But uh, that was really scruffy. And uh... Uh, To be fair, though, it was a good kick, kick chase on it. Didn't allow Yorkshire that far upfield as Packer sends it right to Bull. But all of a sudden, Yorkshire are in that uh, Cumbria half after two tackles. We've got four to try and uh, do something with it. As they say in the modern game, they're in good ball. Yep. Through the middle it comes. Charlie Anforth. I mean, size of him, Dave. He's huge, isn't it? Gets the ball away as well. To uh, Robbie Powell. He'll stand and play it. Pagger sends it left to Morley. Morley through hands. Oh, I tell you what, he's ever so close to the line as well. Tommy Coyle. Just a couple of metres out. Pagger. Moves it right. Here's Hanforth. They get amongst him quickly, though. Stop his progress. Five metres out from the try line. They have a raid from dummy half. Robbie Powell. And that's some fine defensive work there. Excellent work from Cumbria. They were put under pressure. Well, they've redeemed that. Uh, the, the move where they, where they lost that ball there, haven't they, Dave? To be honest, though, this is where... Yorkshire can really take a stranglehold if they can hold Cumbria inside their own 30. The Cumbrians, though, trying to bring the ball out. 
Referee waves play on as the ball somehow scrappily reaches Campbell. They were lucky there, weren't they, Dave? They were. Very fortunate. They just look a little bit disorganised in this set, do uh, Cumbria? Big driving challenge coming in. Three men put into the tackle by Yorkshire. Here's Sanderson, though. Scurries those five metres that were lost previously. Gains a couple. He's got a look at Danny Walker, hasn't he? I'm just thinking oh. of the little youngster that signed for... Still uh, going. That, yeah. That signed for uh, Warrington from Widnes. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he made a few more metres there when he thought, thought it was stopped as well. That's a chip down by Kerwin. Field. Selby does well, gets himself low. Takes possession, wrestles his way to his feet. Plays it on the 40 metre line. They need to be a little bit further downfield, Cumbria, at the end of these sets, don't they? I think that's the difference, isn't it? You know, like when Yorkshire have got it on that fifth tackle, predominantly this half they've been in a dangerous position. Here's it's Bull. The outside backs are really lending their weight to proceedings here, aren't they? Oh, Ball's is... gone loose. Hands in, according to our referee. I, well, think, I, think... I think that's the right call, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Could put them in a really good position there. They've got to walk it forward, like I said, next play in 10 metres forward because of uh, this side of the pitch from the touchline. There's a fence and it could be in a out of play. Robbie Powell taps, Pagger then finds Handforth. Surges into that 20 metre line. Powell again waits his duties at dummy half. Goes to the left, Pagger links with Morley. Morley threw hands onto Howe. Howe further wide. Chance here for Yorkshire. It goes out to Selby. Selby's in at the corner. Brilliant work from Yorkshire. They're in front again. Well, that was a fantastically well worked try, wasn't it? Um, they went from right to left and uh, good handling, and uh, the half packs worked superbly together. And, uh, you know, it had, it had to be scored in that corner. A good sliding defence, but uh, quick handling. and. Uh, that's the name of the game, and uh, it puts Yorkshire at 10-6 ahead. It's going to be another touchline kick, though, for Pagger, and uh, he put the first one over, and I'm not sure whether it, where he's kicking it, when it, whether that's classed as his good side or bad side, but uh, if this one, the first one he took, that was his bad side, it wasn't a, it, it was a great kick. But uh, what they have shown Yorkshire is that they can attack on both sides. You know, they're not... Well, you know, one dimensional pawn is, you know, well, the ball's going to go right and they'll attack down the right. They've showed that uh, they've got lethal weapons on either side of the pitch and, uh, you know, the, the pack's doing le leading them that way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there was a good uh, six-pass play out to that left-hand yeah. side, wasn't there, for the try. And Selby doing what he's done all season and finishing really well at that corner. Yeah. Just tucked his body in, dove for the line and made it. So, Pagger... taking his time with the conversion and why not your 10-6 in front you know that it's been a heck of a close game that was quality finish Pagger moves in I think the wind's got me against him there it is it's going to drop short gave it a good go though but 10-6 is how it remains here at York Acorn in the first of two games we've got coming for you this afternoon and if the second is anything like this we're in for a, we're going to be well blessed aren't we Dave an absolute treat it's a feast of rugby league this afternoon for you on the Our League app. And from York, Acorn, ARLFC. You have been magnificent hosts. My first visit here, your first visit here. What a lovely setting. Yeah, I mean, I just uh, listened to some of the uh, players and coaches talk. It was a uh, presentation night last night and there were some heavy heads watching this game and I think they'll be glad of the breeze to blow the cobwebs and <laughs> whatever they had last night out of the system. But for these under-19 lads... Uh, they had to focus on the game itself. Kerwin sends that ball long. Oh, he's going to be allowed to bounce. Wow, they've made a right mess up. They've picked it up here. Chance here for Cumbria. Jack Penrice in possession. Eight metres away from the line. Hoyles moves into dummy half. Option to his right. Uses the big fella, Campbell. Drags three defenders in. There's got to be a gap somewhere in this defence. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you, Dave? Sanderson at dummy half. Moves it right to Shepherd. Quick hands from him. To go again for that Reece line. Burr again. Uh, I think that might be Casey Chambers, that is it. Reese Burr's out on that right hand side. Is he the weapon that they're going to use in this set though? It goes past him, onto Kerwin, through the hands. Oh, good defence. That is some fine defence, you're right there. Yeah, they went really well there, and I think uh, listening to the coaches, we're in the last minute of this uh, half, so uh, it's important that Yorkshire keep them out as they. Uh, Tap it again on that 10 metre line and the Here's try scorer Burr. Burr drives it forward. Last one. Can uh, Yorkshire keep them out? Can Cumbria level the matters? Sanderson moves it left. Grubber. Kick comes in from Shepherd. 
Oh, I did it well there, but then oof, there was a bit of an uh, swing at that then, wasn't there? <laughs> well, I'm glad he missed. <laughs> it was, it was a to me, to you, and he nearly ended up with an headless chicken. <laughs> He would have kicked his head into next week, wouldn't he? It's a good art, that. <laughs> but uh, that was a big chance, though, for, uh, for Cumbria. Then, this wasn't is another it, big chance for Cumbria. They're getting possession here now. So Shepard to feed the scrum. He comes out at the base, goes left to Hoyle. Hoyle uses Kerwin. Kerwin, long ball. Oh, oh. By, uh, what a cracking hit by Ryan Hilton. What Not only was it a crack in it, he got a knock on as well. Well, uh, well, that's a tackle of the game, that. And what a big tackle and half time that could be at the end of the game. 10 6 up. The ball goes left. It looks as if it was going to go in. And what? Well, he certainly had the kitchen sink thrown at him there. But tackle of the game. And how crucial is that going to be come uh, 40 minutes' time when we have the second half, Dave? Yeah, what a wonderful tackle that was from Ryan Elton. Line Jack Penrice up. Almost knocked him into next week, forced the knock on. Uh, 10 points to six, opened up with Ryan Hilton scoring. Uh, that was converted by Jordan Pagger. Then, despite Yorkshire having the better of territory, they didn't really, weren't able to push through. Strong defence from Cumbria, who were then able to counter-attack, got themselves a bit of possession to score the second try of the game. A lovely work from uh, Reese Burr. That was converted by Sam Kerwin. And then, just five minutes short of the interval, Ben Selby goes in at the corner, lovely movement, ball through several pairs of hands. That was unconverted, but 10-6, Steve. For reflection? I think it is. I think York should have just edged it. I think their attack, attack looks a little bit more lethal at the moment than uh, the Cumbria one, but uh, Cumbria like slowly growing into it. And uh, But uh, that tackle down there, I think that epitomises what uh, Three Counties Tri-Series Rugby is all about. Lancashire, Yorkshire and Cumbria, they got the shirt on and they don't want the colours down in. One thing sure, Steve, we're in for a fine second half. So join us in just a few minutes' time and we'll be right back with the action from York Acorn. Went down that left-hand channel and it was some beautiful handling by them to uh, s score that try. I mean, you could call it a textbook try, couldn't you, that? Yeah, it must have gone through about six pairs of hands yeah. as well, that, Steve. I mean, it was it was brilliant work, to be honest. But Cumbria aren't out of this one by any stretch of the imagination. After spending virtually 25 minutes inside their own half, yeah. they were able to build themselves back into the half, equalise, scored a, a great try through Reese Burr, who looked like he was going to kick it at one point, mm. and then uh, tucked it under his wing and ended up shuffling over uh, from close range. Uh, yeah, they've, they've, just, they've, gr they've grown into the game, haven't they? They have yeah. grown into the game. Uh, I mean, you know, you could say, well, you know, it's that journey, you know, it's, I mean, it's a fair trek from up in Cumbria, and I believe they've had a slight uh, problems uh, in relation to uh, picking some of the players up because, uh, you know, the C Cumbria is such a vast county as such, and uh, so then they've got on the bus, and it's a, it's a, it's a fair, I mean, it's got to be about three, four hour uh, drive, isn't it? For, it's uh, a fair this. trek for them, isn't it? Coming yeah. over to uh, York, but I must say, my first visit here to uh, York Acorn, what a fine venue. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, I, I look at the Kingston Press National Conference League and these various sides, and York Acorn have had a, a goodish season. They've not done what they wanted to do uh, in relation to success sort of thing, but uh, they are a traditional club up here in in a bedrock of rugby league, which is York and District. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I've been to Heworth before, and also, is it uh, New Year's Week? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I've been to both of those, ground, but my first visit here, uh, lovely setting, uh, they made us very welcome, it must be said. Um, one thing's for sure, I'll know where I'm going if we come here again. <laughs> you uh, sat nav, Steve, that's Yeah, for, for, we, for, for the listeners who... Uh, Interiors before, I didn't have a sat nav, I can't afford a sat nav. I, I did the old AA auto route and it said, uh, hey, 1036, York West. And I saw a sign and it said that, but it said York South and West. And me being me, I thought, well, I'll, it's got to be the next junction, but uh, it was only a, a short detour. At least I could uh, come off and do something legit rather than do a U turn in the middle of a dual carriageway. I'm not going to say anything else, but to me, to you. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was something like that's what I said when I realised that I've got the wrong turn off. Uh, so, so hopefully you can you can hear us. I, I believe the pictures were coming through fantastically. So, uh, well done to Terry on those technicals. We had a bit of a uh, a reshuffle of our technical setup at half time, and uh, uh, we we do seem to be uh, live and loud. Which it makes a change from the first half. Yeah, right? I've took my glasses off. It's not real. I need don't no take rain. your glasses off. You won't be able to see anything, Steve. <laughs> oh, <I'm on> <laughs> 
I've been on the Mr. Magoo course. <laughs> uh, so Cumbria have been uh, out for a good couple of minutes before Yorkshire emerged. Oh, uh, what I'm not going to do is the uh, $6 million man uh, line again. I'm glad they didn't listen to that because, like you said, nobody would understand what we're talking about. Exactly. We're underway for the second half. It's a, a deep kick, bouncing, bobbling. What's he doing? That's a real tricky one. Packer eventually takes it behind his own line, sends it onto that big fella, Charlie Hanforth, who looks like he's been sat in a couple of grow bags, to be honest. He's huge, isn't he? And I'm glad he's not mine. <laughs> 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 Yorkshire doing well, bringing it on the right hand side. There's uh, Judge Clark, 25 metres away from his own line. Picked up out of dummy half, sent to the middle with Tommy Coyle. Coyle rolls it forward already. They're up towards the 40 metre line. Hopefully, we're coming through loud and clear now, which is a shame because, as you mentioned, I thought it was a fantastic effort from us both in the first half. But yeah. we've got to do doubly the effort in the second half. It's a, a feast of rugby league coming up for you this afternoon on the Hour League app because right after this, we have the small affair of the open age setups between these two counties, haven't we? Uh, they've got to the end of the set. High yeah. kick coming in from Pagger. That's coming down with Snow on it. Well taken by Kerwin. Really did set himself well there, didn't they? They've been solid. Both, well, we'll do commentators because again, Dave, both fullbacks have been solid, haven't they? And uh, in their uh, in the collection, but the Yorkshire chase has been a little bit better than the uh, Cumbria chase to date on those high bombs. Sanderson shuffles the ball to his right hand side to use Casey Chambers, who has impressed. He's been very good with each carry that he's made. Plays it back, little shuffle in play coming in from Sanderson, carries him inside. The opposition half. And uh, Kia Shepherds took over at dummy half. Passes to his left. Solid run. That's a great piece of work there from uh, Elmsley. P quick play of the ball as well. It's back with Hoyle. Hoyles launches the kick high. Not much aim on that one, to be honest. Bounces harmlessly in the in goal area it's and goes out of play. Start. Extra tackle in the set as well, Steve. Yeah, so again, it, it's all about. Uh, Slight of hand, slight of kick, and uh, I think it's a fantastic rule. I mean, we, we do get some ludicrous rules from the NRL, but to me, that's one of the better ones. Uh, you know, you can't afford you can't afford a bad a bad last tackle kick, can you? So if you are just joining us, it's ten points to six in favour of Yorkshire. They've scored two tries through Ryan Hilton and Ben Selby, the two wingers, the guys that have scored. Yorkshire coming forward with a little bit of purpose now through Robbie Pebble. He's tackled. 45 metres away from the oh. line, and that's a poor mistake there from Owen Brock. He just took his eyes off the ball. And uh, Cumbria have recovered in the form of Charlie Elmsley and have an opportunity to attack again. Yeah, that was early in the tackle count for Yorkshire as well, which will be frustrating the coaches. Long ball to the left-hand side. It's Terrell. And he's knocked on. It's, uh, you, could say, you could say hit Terrell firmer there, couldn't you? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It's oh an afternoon gosh. for bad puns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the other goal coming from uh, Jordan Pagger, as far as Yorkshire were concerned. Cumbria responded with a try from Reese Burr that was converted by Sam Kerwin and Yorkshire in possession through Ball, who was very prominent in the first half. Must have taken a good 10 or 12 carries, I think. Yeah, he's, he, looked, he looked dangerous when he had the ball in hand going forward. This fellow's looked Coyle. solid as well, Coyle. Wrapped up by three. Well, he's got a badge of courage, hasn't he? He's taking some claret, isn't he? With that bandage he's got round his head. Down the right, it's moved through Pagger. Uses Howe. Good defence from Cumbria. Two men into the stop. Just over 30 metres away from the try line. Judge Clark again. That's a solid surge. Inside the 20, he goes. Still, his tackle count goes on. Powell moves it left. Pagger yeah. keeps it moving. There's Brock. All held he's all over this time. Yeah, Terrell with the first hit. He's still going forward, though, he's Brock. Eventually hits the ground. Last one. Somebody's got stuck in the tackle there. That's the Cumbrian 10, Elliot Campbell. As the ball comes left. Kick comes in. It's well taken there by Zach Steele. Good defence as well, though, from Yorkshire. A driving tackle. Forcing Cumbria right back to their own try line. Bit of a breeze getting up here now. It's hard to say who it's actually favouring because it's a bit of a swirly one. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. But Cumbria under the pump a little inside their own 10 metre line, bringing it through that middle again. But there's no, no space to move actually. They just get in in the faces, aren't they? Trying to get, eke a mistake. A Yorkshire out of Cumbria. Passes. Hoyle caught and kicked it in the same movement. That's a good That's kick a considering it was under lots of pressure. 
Well, it made, what, 50 metres <laughs> under pressure and uh, it, it, it's what it's all about, you know, testing yourself at the highest intensity and he certainly did that there because that was a fantastic defence set, set, defensive set from Yorkshire and they must have thought, well, you know, it'll be a scrappy kick, we're going to get head and feed inside their own half yet, uh, they're going to start just on the halfway line and uh, try and put more pressure on but... Uh, cracking kick I have to admit when you've been around the game as long as w we have as almost dinosaurs these days yes um, <laughs> that you think you've seen everything but that he just got caught it and kicked it in the same motion I've never seen that before well it just shows the instinct and the quality I mean you can't you can't coach that can you Dave definitely not Yorkshire in possession though decent field position for them in the middle is Robbie Powell sends the ball left Morley keeps it moving on to big Tommy Coyle who's it really impressed me yeah. He keeps yeah. turning up for one or two carries every set that he's been on. Powell into the middle. Brock keeps it uh, going. He's inside that 20 metre line. Cumbrian defence is pretty stern at the moment. Can they keep the concentration? So on the right hand side with Pagger. Oh. Well, that's now a how kick. Oh, it's oh. kicked back into the be another six, hasn't it? Does he give another? He's not. He's not right the tackle countdown. So well, uh, we is continue. It? They try a raid down that right hand side. Hilton's gone for try line again. He had that in his sights, but good defence from Cumbria. Oh, we do that well. There's Judge Clark. Judge Clark for the line. Oh, double it? movement. Double movement. Penalty the way of Cumbria. They're fortunate with that. But I tell you what, they did well to put the numbers in the frame there. They did, but, uh, you know, how, how big a decision could that be at the end of the game, Dave? You know, the, the four points, so that could have given them a. Little bit of clear water, that. We're we doing 1970s band references now, Steve. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I thought I thought that would resonate with you. He, he likes his rock, does Steve. Well, listen, raised on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> tap to be taken on the 20-metre uh, line from Cumbria. Sanderson to tap. He'll look round for support. Puts it in field. Hoyle keeps it moving. He's the big number 10, Elliot Campbell. Sanderson. Checks left. Brings the big figure of Elmsley into play. He's done a lot of dirty work, hasn't he? Elmsley, you know. He has. Uh... Shepard through the hands out on this right-hand side. Here's another one that's impressed. Casey Chambers. Still wrestles his way forward. Gets beyond the 40. Still inside their own half, though. Sanderson off the deck. Shepard gets rid of it quickly to Elmsley again. He just goes looking for work, doesn't he? That Cumbri the Cumbrian prop. It's just a radar where that ball is. He is. Hoyles working the left-hand side. Lovely ball. Tell you what, they've worked it superbly. Oh, it? Way down the left. Inside pass comes in. It's Burr. Burr for the line. What a tackle. Brilliant tackle. Try saver there. It's, I think it... Double movement. It was a try saver. He got to him just in enough time. Did just enough. It looked, so a that it looked a certain try that David, didn't it? You know, and again, it's 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 the old adage. You know, never give up a lost cause. Um, you know, that was a, a superb tackle. It created double movement, and we've had uh, you know tries disallowed for the same uh, same reason now at either end of the field. How fantastic was that run from Lewis Fearon? I mean, he was brilliant down that left-hand side then. It was really incisive stuff, wasn't it, from Cumbria? Well, yeah, I mean, I thought Burr were in there, you know, but, uh, you know, fair play, to, uh, fair play to Yorkshire. So they're back in possession. And here's the man who had that uh, try disallowed at the other end for the... Uh, can I call them tykes? Do I call them tykes? Or is it just the White Rose? The White Rose sounds the better. The White Rose in the possession. The White Rose of Yorkshire. <laughs> So Powell, long ball oh to the left, Morley's knocked on it. It's one of the few mistakes he's come up with. He's been really good other than that. Oh, I hope he's kicking off, Dave. He uh, seemed to uh, put a punch in or a push. Oh, it's, it's handbags, isn't it? It's, it's handbags, but it just shows the uh, both of uh, counties have got that passion. And I don't know what the Cumbrian player said to uh, the... Uh, Liam Morley, but it's uh, Liam Morley it certainly bit, didn't he? He sparked up, didn't he? So our match officials have to sort this one out. Hopefully you can hear us loud and clear now on the Outer League app. My name's Dave Parkinson, alongside Steve Manning of Barla.
Well, the vice chair, David. Oh, well, I wanted, to, I wanted you to introduce yeah. yourself, really. Yeah, I don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I don't like introducing myself uh, okay. in positions and stuff like that, Dave. It's, it's not about the big I am, it's about what's on the field. And uh, Well, it's always about what's on the field, to be honest, yeah. Steve. That's yeah, right, where do, I like it as well. what you do in the background to try and make you know, these events successful. And uh, you know, I've got to thank uh, Mark Lovering uh, and uh, Alan Davidson and Co for uh, letting us uh, put these uh, stream these games out uh, oh, this he's, year. He's going uh, to his back pocket here, Maul. He's off. He's yellow carded. Well, uh, I can see it, but I don't know. It takes two to tango, Dave. I mean, surely, well, on. surely he's got to go as well. Oh, I thought there was another yellow card being shown there. Well, I think there should be. He's just having a word with the captains, I think, because that's been a good competitive game so far, Dave. But, uh, Still 10-6 you know, uh, if you're just joining us. I suppose I'll give him 10 minutes because he missed with a punch. <laughs> if he did, maybe it would have been a red. True, true. And these players, you know, they've got to, uh, you know, got to think about what they're doing because uh, some of these players uh, next year could well be in selection for um, the Barley uh, Young Lions tour to the Southern Hemisphere as uh, the players that played in last year's county championship put themselves up for the open age one that's uh, going to sunny clouds in Fiji uh, next week. Next week, Dave, you'll be on that big bird. Uh, I certainly will in seven days' time. Fiji. Yeah. Dave, uh, the uh, Barley Lions media manager for the Tour of Fiji that flies out there next uh, next uh, Saturday morning. And uh, Cumbria being awarded the penalty, they'll start this attack 20 metres away from the try line. Straight away, Keir Shepherd puts it infield. And who else gets it but Charlie Elmsley from what must be about his 20th nice carry of the afternoon. Ball put to the left. They're still going down the middle using the big fellas. And that's a great run from Campbell. Gets within five metres of the line. Sanderson. Looks left, looks right, sends it right, finds Shepard. Shepard just out the back. Uses his number 16, Casey Chambers. Two players on him. Plays it just short of the try line. Infield it comes again. Shepard uses the step. Tries to surge his way forward. Just lacked a little bit of support there. Actually wanted the offload, but it didn't call. So Sanderson, long ball left. Hoyles. Brings it across. Lovely ball. They're in. Oh, they're in. What a fantastic these guys passed that was. And it just opened up for Sam Kerwin, didn't it? Well, a beautiful try. I mean, the gap was there. And he too, kid, and went down at an angled run. And it's a game on. It's 10 apiece kick to come. And uh, Yorkshire uh, are paying for the indiscretions of their uh, standoff, who's uh, having a 10-minute rest. And how crucial is that to Sim Benny going to be there? Because looking at that... It's the first time that they've been a man down like, and uh, Cumbria took advantage of uh, th the situation. They and, did. Uh, if, if they put this one over, they could take the lead for the uh, first time in the game. Uh, and they, they took advantage in emphatic style then, didn't they? Because they, they took it down the left. Initially, uh, it looked like Owen Hoyles was holding the ball too long, but he knew exactly what he was doing. He, he was waiting for somebody to bite in the defensive line, and uh, they certainly did on him, and Kerwin had a clear run. Well, I know that they've been training every Friday night, meeting up at Millham, I think it is, they've been doing the training, meeting up from one side of Cumbria to the other. Uh, you know, and as the nights get cooler and darker and colder, it's, uh, you know, fair play to putting all that all that effort in, you know, Friday. I mean, Friday's like, you know, you normally you're there relaxing, you know, looking forward to Saturday. But these players, um, you've got to give them the dedication at Cumbria because it, it's such a far and wide county and uh, to arrange the trials, but... Uh, you know, you've talked to the Cumbria coaches I have at 17s and at 19s and open age, and uh, they've got an ascendancy. You know, it's a, you know, there's a lot of feel good factor, and a lot of hard work being done in Cumbria in relation to uh, the Cumbria county side, and so that the players can have respect on in the shirt. Uh, and uh, as we talk, uh, they've missed that kick. Yeah, Kerwin uh, just sent it wide, but I tell you what, it was a good effort. Um, yeah. One thing, chatting to the Cumbrian coaches before, they're really impressed with the size of the players that are coming through at the moment in both 17s and 19s. Bodes well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they just, they just all, they just all built like giants, aren't they? And uh, you know, fair, fair play to them. But uh, it's. It's game on at the moment, Dave, though. So it's really, I think it's going to be a case of how crucial now is that uh, sin bin in and uh, how can uh, Yorkshire respond after having that trial? Is that ball's coming back on themselves? and They've gone short, and haven't they? they? Yeah, and uh, that man's got it again as uh, Tommy Coyle. Did well there, did Coyle. Powell picks up from dummy half, pops it to his right hand side for Declan Nicholson, who's back on. 
He'll play it 21 metres out from the try line, so they've gone from defence straight into attack of Yorkshire. Brock tucks the ball under his wing, drives it forward 12 metres out from the line. Centre, centre field. field. We said it in stereo. I oh, know. Ball put right, Pagger. Moves it further wide to Howe. Howe puts it on the toe into the corner. Ooh. Just a little bit too much. And in fact, it's dabbed out of play by a Cumbrian. Well, you've got to give him credit where you come. It was a cracking little groan into that corner there to uh, try and turn the key. And I suppose from a Yorkshire point of view, they want points on the board, but they want the ball down there so they can see out this 10-minute uh, simbin in. Ten points each here. Fascinating game developing here at uh, York Acorn. I'll come out with that. I'll just come out with that line. We don't get many draws in the county championship, Dave. Could this be the first one for many a year? And draws count. We don't go to extra time at all, do we, Steve? No, we don't. No, it's a, it's a, it's a point. I mean, uh, I know in, uh, in the NRL and in cup ties we do, but no, it's, uh, if it's 10-10 at the end of the game, we'll do it again in game two, and each team will have, got, have won a well-earned point. So, Yorkshire have won some well-earned territory. The 10 metres out. Ball comes to the middle with Pagger. He drops it back to that man, Tommy Coyle. Five metres out from the try line, directly in front of the posts. Ball to be moved left. Pagger involved again. Throws it to himself. Then pops oh, it the back. The Long ball out to the left-hand side. It's a try. It's a fine finish again from Ben Selby. He had work to do, but he did it superbly thanks to that long, long ball. What a brilliant cut-out pass that was. They went for the jugular and uh, he went in again that uh, winger for his uh, second try and uh, he... Uh, he scored, he scored Yorkshire's second, he scored his second and Yorkshire's third and it's 14 points to 10. He's not uh, doing uh, Jordan Pagger any favours. It's going to be out wide again, near to the touch line and it's looking, looking as uh, good good for Yorkshire at the moment. But what a what a perfect response to uh, that levelling up try, Dave. I don't think they... I don't think, I think the coaches have challenged them to play 12 against 13. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they've done a really, really good job there. Um, great ball movement as well from, from Yorkshire. And Selby showing what a deadly finisher he is by going in at the corner. Can but it was a pass, wasn't it? That yeah, pag, yeah. That Pagger pass was a belter. Can Pagger convert? Let's kick one from the touchline already today. Can he make it two? Well, that's got chances, but it's drifted across the face of the posts and it'll be waved away. So play goal, but I think that's called a shank. <laughs> I don't mean a lamb. <laughs> so it's 14 10. It's a uh, hard kick that was a uh, hard attempt there, but uh, Yorkshire have got the four point lead. They're a man down. Can they uh, increase it? It's important uh, from a Yorkshire point of view that uh, they see out this set after that try and don't do anything stupid. Uh, from a Cumbria point of view, they've got a weaker mistake or try and put it downfield and uh, keep uh, Yorkshire penned in and try and take advantage of the extra man. It's a grubber downfield. It yeah, they've tried this sort of oh, before. I think they said it on. popped up nicely for Yorkshire, but it didn't. Well, it did pop up nicely for Yorkshire, but Pagger couldn't take it in. I don't know. And uh, Chance here for Cumbria to get straight back on well, level terms. Well, they're, what, they're 10 metres away, about, what, 15 to the left of the H's. Six tackles, and uh, this is by far, I think, the best attacking position they've had at the old game so far. And uh, Cumbria are going to go for it from a Yorkshire point of view, backs to the wall. Sanderson. We'll see, will this extra man count? Takes for Howard. Takes it from the base of the scrum. Ten metres away from the try line. Hoyles passes to his right-hand side. Solid surge coming in from Irving. Irving's near the try line. Irving's rolled over on his back, is he? Oh, yes. Cumbria think they scored. They got ever so close, didn't they, to be honest? Hang on. I yeah, going to get he is giving it. Well, it looked like he'd just been held up, to be honest, but somehow the ball ended up on the ground and wow. it's been given. So John Irvin has uh, Cumbria's third try and we're back on level terms. Well, yeah, the, but the kick's a uh, little bit nearer to the post, but I'll tell you what, uh, so the Cumbria contingent or the... Uh, Speck is over there. They, all, they thought it would try before the referee had given it, which uh, I thought was a little bit optimistic, but uh, he drove forward and he somehow obviously managed to stick that arm out through that melee of players and get that try there because it looked as if he'd been stopped. The posts were rocking. Uh, to be fair as well, the player just got up as if he was just going to play the ball. Well, he didn't celebrate, did he? He didn't jump up and say, I've got that. Well, he's either good, uh, 
he was like backing himself while he plays a great game of poker, but he should have been, <laughs> should have been jumping up and down, shouldn't he, Dave? I mean, uh, he's put his side level. I'll tell you what, they'll be jumping, Kerwin, up, and, they'll be jumping up and down in a minute, won't they? It's Kerwin as this uh, conversion this one you, 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 you fancy him, won't you? This one's going right in that tree behind the post. I wonder how many trees have ended up in that those... Uh, uh, sorry, how many balls have ended up in the tree behind? Oh, how many trees have been in them balls? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I've got a bit muddled up. <laughs> but it's game on now where the visitors are 16 4 ahead and. Uh, 14. 16 14. 16 14. And uh, in the under, under 17s game that was played a month ago, uh, Cumbria went down to uh, Yorkshire and played the game at Dewsbury Celtic and uh, they come away 2018 winners. Um, He's lightning going to strike twice. Tell you what, there's all to play for in this uh, this uh, next 20 minutes or so, isn't there? As the ball is sent long on this occasion from Yorkshire. Well taken, good catch on this um, occasion by Cameron Taylor. The bottom line, he took that word as Yorkshire knocked on and that's what created the problem for the try. So Cumbria, there's that try scorer pushed back to the 20 metre line. Sanderson picks up from dummy half, pops it to his left-hand side. Good work once again from that man, Eldon. He was heavily involved in the first half, wasn't he? Yeah. Just 25 metres away from their own line. Coming down the blind side, it's a skinny blind side, and Burr takes the challenge on the 40-metre line. Quick play of the ball as well. Infield, it comes to Hoyles. Hoyles gets his kick away. Again, just drops it nonchalantly on his toe. He's already out. That's, that's a good kick, that. And here's Bull with the return penalty goes the way of Yorkshire though hands in on the tackle oh we're on equal parity Dave uh, the uh, player Liam Morley has just gone back on the field it's, I must admit it were a quick 10 that it certainly did pass quickly didn't yeah. it so damage slight, has been slightly done as uh, Yorkshire a trail by two points uh, he was having a warm up in front of us uh, with one of his teammates and he's a uh, I think he wants to put it all out on that field for this last uh, last quarter of this uh, fascinating opening game of the Barla Tri-Series. Oh, I thought Cumbria were offside there. Powell takes a dart down the left. Oh, he's on here. Well, Selby, Selby. He's big, he's strong, he's powerful. He's rolled on his back by two defenders. On the edge of the 20-metre line of Yorkshire, Powell fires it into the middle. Morley gets rid of it quickly. Here's Brock. Rolled on his back, 20 metres away from the try line, centre field. This time Powell shuffles it right, Pagga gets rid of it. Clark. Here's Judge Clark. One man went flying there in defence. I'm not sure whether he hit the man actually. <laughs> Infield it Here comes. Here comes our man, Boyle. Boyle. Oh, he stopped. Rolled on his back. Last tackle here. They go from dummy half. Has he smuggled his way over? No, he hasn't. It's turnover. But if there is anything that you can say from that, what a perfect place to turn a ball over. Yeah, well, you've got to give Cumbria credit where you. They're oh. putting him on the back, though, aren't they? You know, slowing that tackle down to play the ball down. It was fantastic defence, to be honest. You know, and they were under the cost, though, weren't they, as well? Because they, they had to defend quite a number of tackles close into the try line. There's a couple of uh, players feeling the after effects there, a little bit of cramp setting in. I mean, we, we have to say that this game is taking place, what, probably about four or five weeks off season from what yeah. some of these guys would have been. Yeah. Although, having said that, I do know that the Cumbrian top four playoff only finished last weekend. Yeah, that I mean, there's a lot of youngsters play up in Cumbria for the, for the first teams because of a lack of players and player participation. What were played. But I've got to say, when they made this breakdown, this left hand side, and we thought that uh, Ben Selby could go and got in for his hat trick. The try scorer down there was the try saver who slowed it down down here. It was yeah, Irvin who put the tackle in. So. Cumbria under a bit of pressure, two metres out from the try line. It's a slow play, the ball. Sanderson shuffles it left. Here's Eldon. Eldon's going behind his try line. Oh, he's off the ball out. Oh, what oh, have they got on the ball? It's got to be a try, this fella. I don't know who's got it. Got a Oh, what a way to come back. Well, it's suddenly been smuggled out, smuggled down, and uh, Yorkshire are in front. 18-16. Well, that had shades then, Dave, of last week when I was at Hull watching England versus New Zealand when Tommy Makinson decided to offload and his own in goal. The New Zealander came in and knocked on and the try got uh, chalked off. With that one, they've put it in their own in goal and they've uh, been, you know, they've suffered the consequence. 
Uh, and that just comes from putting pressure on, doesn't it? You know, Yorkshire's gone back to straight applying the pressure uh, and they've come up with a four-pointer and been rewarded. I think that's what they've been trying to do. You know, every set, you know, they've, they've had them on the defence, haven't they? Well, you know, we had that 50-yard punt downfield. But Yorkshire have really got into the res, haven't they, when they've uh, been, uh, been defending like But we just don't know who scored that try at the moment, do we, Dave? So, so yeah, we'll await the, uh, the goal kick here from Packer. We know it's definitely him. So Packer, can he send this one between the posts? They're up by 18 to 16 in Yorkshire. Oh, Gives it chances. It. And it remains 18-16. Still looking for a bit of confirmation on the last try scorer. I think it was uh, possibly Jordan Bull. Or Drew Judge Clark. But we'll uh, we'll try and get that little bit of confirmation. I'll try to draw somebody's attention, David, as usual. We can So we're back on the halfway line with Cumbria. We've sent our man in the know to find out on the Yorkshire bench. So it's again drilled down the middle. Number seven. So Packer scored it. Yeah, Packer. So I was wrong on my guesses, but never mind. Well, he's only little bit in the wrong <laughs> way away, mate. <laughs> he got buried in the melee to drive over and get that try from that loose ball. One thing we can tell you is that Yorkshire are in possession, driving strongly, bringing the ball out from their own end, but they're putting the numbers in, and I've conceded the penalty here, Cumbria. Just getting caught out on a couple of technical things, really, Cumbria, at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But it's still I don't think Zach Steele was uh, happy with being penalised for that one, but, uh, you know, uh, that's a key turn, but it's two points, isn't it? It's still anybody's game, this. It's your, it's your drive forward to the halfway line, and now they've got five tackles in the bank to try and uh, put some more points on the board as uh, Powell flirts it out there to uh, Mark Sellers, who drives forward, and Wilcox is back on, uh, uh, acting up, uh, trying to milk a penalty. Sends it to Morley. Morley across the middle. Picking up big Declan Nicholson. He's after a quick play of the ball. Wilcox has got it. Darts to the right. Dodges to the left. Now he's off down the right-hand side. Ducking a couple of tacklers. Thought he was going to slip it out then for a second. I think they fancy another one here, Dave. Pagger moves the ball infield to Tommy Coyle. Coyle, big, strong. Striding forward. Ten metres away from the line. They've got numbers left. Last tackle here. This ball's got to come all the way across. Pagger, lovely Good ball. ball. Surging oh, the good defence. Line. Good tackle from Eldon low down. What a challenge that was. And it stops Jackson Walker from striding over the line. 18-16 is how it remains. Hope you're enjoying the coverage this second half. More importantly, hope you can hear us after our gremlins in the first. But uh, i tell you what, we've been royally rewarded in this game. It's been a great game, this. Uh, by both sides wanting it. And... Uh, the fact is, it's two points. It, the, the lead swapped hands end to end, and uh, Yorkshire have got that crucial two point buffer at the moment. I noticed that was another carry from Elmsley just before. He's a hell of a player, isn't he? One heck of a guy, yeah. Outside their own 20. Ball sent across to the fullback, Kerwin. Deep kick. It's probably the best kick Cumbria have put in this game. Rolls it behind the fullback, Ben Howe. He's challenged to bring it back, and that's a good defensive line as well. How do you well to make a couple of metres beyond contact there? He always manages to make metres, doesn't he? You know, on, on the punt downfield, uh, does uh, the Yorkshire fullback. Strong line defence from Cumbria. Yorkshire pushing their way forward, getting towards halfway. That's Jackson Walker again. Plays it back. Ball sent. Oh, in fact, this is Walker. This time he's tackled by two. Last man up will be Connor Terrell. Wilcott to his left, Morley. Long ball, Paver onto Selby. Selby kicks forward. Selby's off. Oh! Knock on. Oh, that, that was unfortunate. I uh, thought you'd fallen off the pitch then, Steve. No, 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 no. no. 
No, I'm on the edge, but I'm not so far on the edge. I'm a... We're teetering. <laughs> I'm not doing. I can't. Do, I'm not doing the Gemma Collins, mate. Fair enough. I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> all our younger people will remember that Gemma Collins when she fell off the stage uh, last year. Oh right, okay. Ten meters away from I'm the road edge, but I'm not that far ahead. You yeah. stay with the kids, Mr. Manning. <laughs> <laughs> Kia Shepherd with the put in at the scrum. Cumbria took possession, but referee wasn't happy. Wants it to reform again. And Yorkshire will be hoping that they can get a Christmas, another Christmas present as they did uh, down here a few minutes ago, Dave. We're going down the short side now. Yeah, risky business when... Oh, he's lost it! has gone! Hands in. Oh. Well, Selby did chuck himself at the ball. And there was too many in the challenge. And the referee is nearer to play than we are. He is. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the coverage of the Hour League app. This is the first of two games we've got for you this afternoon. It's time for the open age of these two uh, teams to clash at three. Because at the backdrop, I don't know how our viewers can see it, uh, both sides are warming up for that big game that kicks off at three o'clock. Elmsley with another carry. Oh, he's not Tom. Oh. Rare mistake from Elmsley. Yeah, and it's... Uh, Drew Judge Clark, who was involved in that tackle, and it's uh, they're going to get head and feed on the uh, Cumbria 40 metre line. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, Dave. I mean, from one to 17, both sides have been outstanding, some outstanding players. I'm glad because I'm doing this. I've not got to uh, to, to, to uh, declare the ball the man of the match uh, because it could it could be anybody. Uh, who have been standouts for yourself, though? As Jordan Bull takes down. I'll come back to you on this as Bull opens those legs a little bit to get to the 30 metre line. Ducking his way out of dummy half there is Wilcock. They're edging the way forward. Judge Clark once again to the 20 metre He's line. He's put himself about, hasn't he? has, he? hasn't he? Wilcock again. Here is our man, Coyle. He's fearless, isn't he, Coyle, as he drives it 12 metres away from the line. Rolled over on his back by Elmsley. Wilcock will this time shuffle the ball right. Pagger, short ball to Judge Clark again. He keeps offering himself up for work. Put down five metres away from the try line. Last one. Pagger. Oh, dummies. Then kicks it. Then he nutmegs a player and he's back with Kerwin. Kerwin has took it. He had to work to do that. Didn't that really that. well? That must have been a, a smidgen off uh, the in goal, that. Now he's trying to get the way from that. That's what York should have good at, you know, trying to force him back and eke another mistake, Dave. They've done it continually throughout the game. Yeah, the, and again, that line speed. They're like a rash, aren't they, around them? It's overwhelming at the moment, isn't it? But I tell you what, if you could try something, they've actually got a bit of an overlap down this right side. Mm. I mean, it would take a brave man to launch such a play. Well, after what happened for that try that gave Yorkshire the uh, the lead at the moment, yeah. They've still got an overlap down this right-hand side. Kerwin, all, all, Holgate, I should say, all wrapped up. Ball back with Hoyles, gets his kick away. Again, it's not a bad effort at all. Bounces up awkwardly. For Howe, who funnels it back to Hilton, who works his way towards the halfway line. All held there in the challenge from John Irving, who scored the sixth try of this game for Cumbria and gave them a 16-14 advantage. But unfortunately, it didn't last long because uh, Pagan, who's got the ball, uh, has got the decisive try at the moment. 18-16 it is if you just join us. Yorkshire bringing the ball forward. Coyle across his bows. This time finding Declan Nicholson. Nicholson's 15 metres out. Surely this Cumbrian defence can't take much more of this. As Morley Cut sends out. it left. Lovely ball. Here's Selby. Oh, that looks he's like he's knocked on. Forward pass is going forward anyway. Pass. Tell you what, I thought Selby was in for his hat trick there. Have four now, couldn't he? He could have done. Again, fair play to Yorkshire. They keep moving it, chancing their arm down this left hand side. I'll tell you what's now, you know, since they've got back to equal parity, I'm trying to cast my mind back. It's been a while since we've seen Cumbria as an attacking force inside the uh, uh, Yorkshire uh, 20. Which was a similar sort of tale to the first half as well, generally, yeah. wasn't it, Steve? Yeah. Because for, for a good 20, 25 minutes of that first half, Yorkshire had everything going for them. Yeah, they're under the cosh, aren't they, uh, Cumbria? And, uh, to be fair, though, I mean, 18, 16, it, still it, it, game, it, it just takes a flash of brilliance, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's where this game could be sorted. Eldon running from the base of the scrum. Rushed and pushed back to the 10 metre mark. Holgate picks up, sends it left. Hoyles keeps it moving. 
There's that man, Burr, who, for me, has been outstanding for Cumbria this afternoon. Been really good. Plays for the penalty. Referee's patience holds. Here's Holgate. Spots something. Has the ball ripped from his grasp. He's got it this time. This time wins that penalty, as Steve mentioned. If I were talking about big moments, uh, Dave, and in that second half, they made the break down there and Cumbria looked certain try scores. I think that's the last time they looked a danger down there and since then they've come back up here and Yorkshire have been in command, haven't they? Having said that, commentators curse. They did score though down there. They had another goal, didn't they, when they actually yeah. got the try. But um, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, that was probably the first time that we saw them split the line yeah. from distance, wasn't it? Yeah. They have a chance here though with more possession, 40 metres away from the try line. Uh, as what happens at amateur grounds, we're waiting for a ball, which I'm sure a couple of the kids are playing with at the back. <laughs> I think Yorkshire will be quite happy. Get a they won't be there. minding. <laughs> Tap taken. Hoyles finds Terrell. the big running of Terrell. He's impressed me. I like what he's done. Very honest player, but he's oh knocked dear. on the commentator's curse yet again. Well, I mean, uh, opening tackle, you know, first tackle, you know, if uh, we've, we, we've mentioned that expression in the first half and nobody heard us about coach killers, and that is what's in it. They get that penalty after soaking up all that pressure, one tackle gone, and they knock on, five to go, 25 metres out uh, for a chance to try and uh, retake the lead, but... Uh, you know, Yorkshire have got the uh, got the scrum head and feet, and uh, I've no idea how long's left, but I don't think uh, there'll be in any in any hurry. So Yorkshire coming down this left hand side, strong running from uh, Pover. He'll play this ball. Infield, the run is from Selby. Stopped on the halfway line. In fact, he's just managed to smuggle a couple of meters further forward. And here's Brock Rock. Been uh, really prominent in the middle for Yorkshire. Wilcox sends it left. Good running. Excellent work there from Jackson Walker for the Yorkshire side. The White Rose definitely in ascendancy at the minute. Good, solid surge once again from Sellers. Ten metres away from the Last try one. line. What can they come up with? Brock shuffles it across the line. It looks like it's been knocked on that, to be honest, by Yorkshire. Yeah, he's, uh, he's given the knock on. I think he was uh, just seeing that, that line. I think he'd scored it before he got it then, hadn't he, Dave? He was, yeah. I think he was almost celebrating, wasn't he? But uh, Cumbria need to get down the other end of the field. Have they got a break in them? Out with Hoyles, steps back on the inside, won't find a break there. I think Yorkshire will be quite happy if they try driving it down the middle, Dave. Sanderson, surely that's not his job. Wrestles his way clear of that tackle. Holgate passes to Another his man left. again, Terrell. It is Terrell down the middle, gets it all to Hoyles. Hoyles down the left, finds that's an offload. This is a great play. Infield it comes, and they just shuffled Curling. back to stop Curling. Well, it looked forward to me, dear, but referee was nearer than we are. Got played out by Yorkshire as well, to be fair. Ball put on the left. Oh, they're side. in! They are, they're over. Fantastic play down the left-hand side. The Yorkshire defence was split, and they wanted that break from deep. They got that break from deep, and they've got the four points. What a cracking try, I mean, he, uh, he dived in like a salmon there on that uh, side, and, uh, you know, they just, as it were, they upped the ante and realised they got half a chance, and... Uh, They've gone in and it's... Uh, it's Jack Penrice, I think, who scored that on that left-hand side. And it's 20 points to 18 with a kick to come. And I'll uh, do me uh, spookiness. It's the same score at the moment as the victory that Cumbria had in the 17s. We've got two minutes plus whatever our referee adds on at the end. Two minutes. I'm glad you... Because I can't see these numbers from here. Uh, Teddy was saying where, where I'm looking, but I'll be guided by your better eyes. Now, we can have a minute taking this conversion as well, can't he? we? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you're Yorkshire, you're going to go short on the restart, you aren't you? You've got to, haven't you, really? I mean, they'll be gutted. I mean, it has been a great game, but uh, Yorkshire will be gutted the fact that they've had that much uh, territory in both halves, especially in the second half, and they've not been able to make the pressure, pressure count, have they?
Uh, yeah, they've looked a little bit blunt at certain times, mm. haven't they? You know, they uh, they've been good I up until a certain point, haven't they? I, mean, I, they don't, want to I don't want to take yeah, too much I mean, away. The Yorkshire coach will say, "Well, we've had two tries this lad here by this winger." But having said that, yeah. the, re the referee was. I still th say that uh, the, the break they made down there was a forward pass, but you know. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, Dave. And, you know, we can see it from here and it looks it is. You know, you, you've got to respect the guy in the middle. I mean, uh, I'm not going to get some forward, stick, but I think the referee's had a great game. Kerwin with the kick. Oh, it's just waved away. So 20 points to 18 in favour of Cumbria. 18. Is it going to be deja vu? Where's your nerves? Well, the nerves will be jangling amongst these Cumbrians, aren't they? Well, they knocked on down here, I think, from one of the restarts, didn't they? And uh, what is it? It's, it's the old expression, it's taking up your jumper, isn't it? And uh, You've got to take it up your jumper, first of all. <laughs> it's certainly going to make sure you catch it, but uh, from Yorkshire, though, the way that they put the pressure on them, though, on this Cumbria defence in their own 10-metre 10, 10 meter, 10 line and inwards towards the uh, in goal, uh, they'll be really frustrated. Well, they've not gone for the short one, Dave. Well, it's a kind of mid-ranger, isn't it? Oh, 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 it's fluffed his lines. I know it's a lone ranger because he missed it. And uh, Sam Kerwin, he's you know he's had a he's been solid, hasn't yeah. he? Otherwise, yeah. But it's all about pressure, isn't it? As uh, Yorkshire have uh, packed down so they can get a scrum head and feed. They realise themselves as there's not long left to go. And uh, is that uh, going to be a crucial mistake by Kerwin? Well, we're 50 odd seconds into time added on by our match yeah. officials, so. Let's see what Yorkshire can come up with here. Perfect opportunity as Morley shuffles it across to Sellers. Ooh, that was a big hit coming in from Holgate round his midriff. Down he goes, 15 metres away from the line, over on this left-hand side of the field, 20 metres in from touch. Is it building here? Brock did a little shuffle forward. Now sets himself for the big drive. He's not far off, you know. Wilcox. Takes it forward himself. Has he got there? Has he got his own? Oh, magnificent Ooh. tackle. What a super tackle that Kerwin. was. Kerwin. Kerwin put the tackle in, Dave. He's, uh, I think he's Zach probably... Steele was also involved. But here we go. I think he's redeemed himself a little bit. Marley. Here's Marley. Stepping, twisting, turning. Five metres away from the try line. Wilcock at dummy half. Short ball to his right-hand side. They're sending the big fellas forward. And that's a great challenge. Oh. And a forward pass as well. They'll take the time here. Will wow. Cumbria. There'll be a couple of players that'll lie down in the in goal area. Yeah, they'll be watching Super League. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've stopped the clock anyway of uh, Yorkshire because they were all in position. But uh, but we're in the hands of our referee now, aren't we? Who's the uh, sole arbitrator of time? Yep, and uh, it's, it's down to him, isn't it? And. Uh, Another good, another big decision, and he made it without any fuss. And you know, a fair play to the players; they didn't, they didn't contest it as we've got creeping into our professional game more so, perhaps at Super League than Championship and Championship One. But uh, Cumbria, then all they've got to do is try and play out this set. Referee Thank wasn't happy go. with the uh, way that the two sides packed together because Yorkshire had split. Cumbria up in this one by 20 points to 18. Four tries the Cumbrians have scored. Four tries Yorkshire have scored. It's just the extra goal from Sam Kerwin which separates the sides. Yeah. And they'll just drive. Zach Steele takes the first one. Ten metres away from their own line. Seconds away from a famous victory. Yorkshire will try everything they know. What are Cumbria doing with two passes out to the left? You just, you just drive and you give it to... Uh, you give it to Owen Hoyles to punt down 50, 60 metres on your last, don't you? That's what you do at this stage. Hoyles even taking a drive, though. Surely he should be hiding himself somewhere out the back for a kick, well, as you, you mentioned. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you, Dave? That's good work, Sanderson. Just settling it down up to that 20 metre line. They're not going anywhere quick, but they don't so have to. friend Terrell again. Great run from Terrell. He's been magnificent at times today. Yeah. They've all Trying to make apart. a penalty, man, then. That was, was off a little side. Little. Oh, oh, Hoyles gets a kick away. He could have made that so much easier. Chance here. Ben Howe shuffles across to the left. He's got two men in support. Goes between two defenders. Tackle just over the halfway line. Still, this game hasn't ended. There's a penalty oh. here. Chance for Yorkshire. And it's a bit far out well, for assume, a kick. I'm assuming somebody's had a word with the referee. In fact, he's glancing at his watch here. 
I don't know whether we could just have another set here, Dave, so it could be do or die, this. Wilcott will tap. Here's Coyle. Good drive. Excellent work. Up to the 20-metre line he goes, despite the attentions there of the uh, brilliant Charlie Elmsley. On the left with Morley. Morley out to Selby. Oh. Selby kicking over the top. Kerwin's got it. Kerwin's going to... Oh, oh, that's a ball it. snatched from him. But he's out of play. And the referee's checked his watch. He's blown his whistle. Cumbria have the victory. What a magnificent win for Cumbria. Well, what a fantastic win. Uh, 20 points to 18 and deja vu. It uh, happened in the 17s at Dewsbury Celtic. And uh, Cumbria came away with a win. And uh, But that one, that just ebbed and flowed, didn't it? The, the lead must have changed hands about four or five times towards the back end of it, Dave. Uh, as such, but... Uh, Cumbria have been fantastic, I'll be quite honest, both sides have been, been superb and, you know, we don't, you know, neither side really deserved to lose but you've got to say that uh, Cumbria kept their, uh, kept their cool, they kept their nerve, uh, they got the two points, I think Yorkshire thought when they got back to 13 and when Pagger went in l late on in that game that that was theirs, they got the momentum, a lot of the pressure was down there but Cumbria defence held out and then they did that breakout and, uh, Come, uh, they actually couldn't get back quick enough and then they went in at that that, that corner for the uh, match winner, you know, great game great game. So it was 10 points to 6 at half time in favour of Yorkshire who scored first of all through Ryan Hilton in between the uh, first try of the game from Ben Selby, Reese Burr got over, the outstanding Reese Burr for Cumbria, the goal was kicked by Sam Kerwin but it was 10-6 at half time thanks to a goal from Jordan Pagger. In the second half, well Yorkshire scored further tries through uh, Selby Selby and Pagger. Uh, Selby could have ended up with four tries, couldn't he? But for some yeah. great defence yeah. and some calls which kind of went against the winger. Um, and Cumbria somehow found a way through. Uh, John Irving grabbing a, a controversial effort in some circumstances. Sam I love Kerwin, the title, though, wasn't oh, it? It was, yeah. It's like nothing away from him. Sam Kerwin also getting over to make the most of uh, after Liam Morley had been simbined. And Jack Penrise diving over in the corner after that magnificent play down the yeah. left hand side where the ball must have moved through about four or five pairs of hands. It has been absolutely tremendous this game. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Don't go anywhere. We have another game. We have the open age between these two uh, famous old rivals coming up at three, haven't we? Yeah, and Yorkshire will be steaming. They need to uh, win their opening game to try and retain this title. But uh, in relation to this, this sets up uh, the f at Millham next week. Lan Lancashire are going. And if Cumbria win it, they've got the title. And uh, I think you said when nobody were listening to us, there's a gentleman in uh, Lancashire who's been watching this commentary. And uh, well, he's been watching the he's been watching the game. He's not been listening to us, but uh, <laughs> he, he must be more than impressed with what Cumbria have done, and he must still be impressed with what Yorkshire have done, albeit that they've lost. Yeah, that gentleman is uh, Tom Wood, who's on the Lancashire coaching staff. So he'll be mega impressed by both of these sides, to be honest, and, and knows that Lancashire can't take anything for granted at all, can they? And there's only it's only two points defeat so it's all you know it you know again the game two if it's not if it's not settled well this really know, comes about series, doesn't it yeah it's fantastic yeah. it's it's great i know that you know the uh, yorkshire boys are coming back now towards where we are and they'll be disappointed and uh, you know think that things didn't go for them but i think it's been a fantastic game and i'll be quite honest i said earlier i wouldn't like to have to make uh, a choice of the man of the match and i still i still wouldn't because it could go to anybody i think you know, the forwards are the unsung heroes. I'd like to think that it's, it'll go to a forward. I would love it for to be Ch Ch Charlie lot. Elmsley. I thought he's been brilliant. He's, he's run his blood to water, Definitely, he? yeah. Reese Burr has been very good. Oh, man, Connor Terrell, Irving with that crucial try. try. So, yeah, I mean, uh, good luck to uh, Steve Addy, who's uh, got to make the decision on it. Uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't like it at all, but uh, it's been a fantastic start to, uh, to the series. And this is what we want. We don't want blowout scores. We want competitive rugby league and that's what we've had in this opening game so Mark Quinn will be very very happy from a Cumbrian persuasion uh, for Martin Oxbury it's back to the drawing board for the uh, game against Lancashire on the 18th of November yeah he'll be flogging him for the next few weeks won't he uh, but uh, yeah that's the first game done and dusted for this afternoon join us from three for the open age bring it on <laughs> 